Here's a quick thought on Perki Avot, chapter 1, Mishnah 6. Probably one of the more famous lines in the Mishnah. Rabbi Yeshua ben Prach states, Have done at kol adam l'kav Judge each person favorably. Now, the thought I'm about to share with you is something I've been developing over the last little while, and I'd love to hear your feedback. There's a common saying in today's culture, which is, don't judge me. Now, I've been thinking about the contrast between that, don't judge me, and the statement to the Mishnah, judge each person favorably. The obvious contrast is that the colloquial saying says, no judgment, whereas the Mishnah does not rule out the possibility or even the appropriateness of judgment. It says, go ahead and judge, but do so favorably. So in trying to understand this distinction, I thought of two levels. One is pragmatic. As human beings, it's our nature. When we see other people behave a certain way, we cast judgment. It's just the way we are. And if the mission is saying, instead of trying to suppress your innate nature to judge others, go ahead, judge, but do so favorably. So it's a kind of pragmatic uh, approach. But perhaps there's something even deeper. And that is the following. When you say, don't judge me, what you're really saying is, you don't have any moral values that are relevant to me. There are no moral truths you have which can put my behavior in any light, either positive or negative, and therefore, no judgment. Now, from the Torah perspective, that's just not true. There are clear moral guidelines. Certain behavior is appropriate, and certain behavior is inappropriate. And therefore, to say no judgment at all seems a bit wrong. What the Mishnah does say is judge each person favorably. It doesn't say judge the act favorably because the act could be immoral. And it is, perhaps. But judge the person favorably. Meaning, we're all human, we all fail sometimes. And sometimes we cross the moral line at whatever level that line is. And when we do, we judge the act as negatively, but we judge ourselves favorably. We give ourselves all kinds of excuses. I was really trying hard not to. I was pushed into this position. I didn't mean it. It was a one-off, it slipped. I'm trying to control myself. It's the way I was brought up. I didn't know any better. There are all kinds of excuses we afford ourselves, the individual, even when we know the act was wrong. That perspective that you give to yourself, judging the act negatively, but the person yourself positively, and giving yourself excuses and reasons, and don't, not assuming ill intent of ourselves, afford all of that to somebody else. You look at somebody else act immorally, okay, you can judge that act as immoral. But when you're looking at the person, afford them all the excuses in the world. Don't assume ill intent just because the act was no good.